Yeah, hey guys. Hey, um, I wanted to do this video because this is a particular topic that I was trying to find information on for a long fucking time and I couldn't find anything out there and I had to piece together bits of information from different videos, different forums um, to find out if I could put the Kraken G10 on the Gigabyte GDX 980 Ti. Um, saw plenty of videos of them doing it on different cards, just not this card. So I wasn't 100% sure on um, if this would work or not. So anyway, I've given it a crack. Now I was going to do a video showing you um, how I actually did it, but when I got the parts in front of me, uh, the G10 and the, um, the H55 turned up today, I, I shit myself a little bit going, oh, what if I fuck this up? Um, I really need to concentrate on getting this right. So I decided not to film it, to just give it a crack, see how it went, um, and then give you an overview afterwards. So anyway, I've had it in the machine now. I've had it up and running for a couple of hours. Um, and this is all pretty ugly at the moment, but this is what um, it looks like. Now, I think I need to have a look at tightening or loosening some of these screws as you see it's not exactly flush but um, yeah I'll have a crack at that now you notice I've put this tie up here um, this velcro tie now the reason I've done that is because I found this card ended up being quite ass heavy with this setup and to me it looked like there was a little bit of a bend so to counteract that for now I've just put in this uh, velcro tie um, tied it to my um, H110i GDX fucking whatever it is um, I've tied it onto that for now just to pull up the end and I'll have to figure something out later um, anyway it does work it, it, and you don't really need to modify anything really I didn't look at the standard instructions as to how to install this because it wasn't a standard card um, but I went off of some of the videos that I saw um, uh, yeah you, you'll find them on there anyway if you're looking for that kind of thing but it works on the 980 Ti that's the most important piece and uh, once I, I had to do a bit of wiggling around and I had to move the hard drive cage just to get it down here I had to pull this fan off which I don't have the screws to reattach this so for now it's sitting there um, so it's looking pretty ugly, but I'll get around to tidying that up. Now, was it worth it? Well, if I go back over to here, you'll see currently it's actually getting pretty warm at the moment, so it's chopping between 28 29. But the lowest temp, the idle temp that I had this sitting at was 26 degrees. Now, before I put, now I've got pretty good um, cooling in my case. Um, and I, before, I was idling around 33. So there's a 7 degree drop um, straight away in the idle temps. So not so huge on idle, difference in idle temps, but the big difference came with the load temperatures. Um, I've gone from, I, I tested out Grand Theft Auto, Shadow of Mordor, Bit of Rocket League, because I like playing that. Bit of Tomb Raider, bit of um, uh, Black Ops 3. Everything on 4K, really thrashing it. Now, before, my setup would run about 72 degrees max um, with just the stock cooler. And as you'll see here, the max I did with running all those at 4K was 56 degrees. That is huge. So I am absolutely stoked with this setup. Um, I'm going to get another one of these 980 Ti's and I'm going to do this again and I'll have a bit more confidence in doing it this time but definitely if you're thinking about it you can do it to the G um, to the 980 Ti um, at least the gigabyte version and it's well worth it the other important thing to notice or to note is when these were high load with this card with a stock cooler it's pretty fucking loud like like most of these cards they really wind up but now that's as loud as it gets that is the max volume you get so even under high load the max temperature 
is the case fans. That's it. Um, I'm not too impressed with the H55 though, I must say that. Um, only reason is because I can hear a kind of water trickling noise um, from the pump, and whereas the um, the 110i um, GDX that I've got up there, that's dead silent, makes no noises whatsoever. So next time around I'm going to try an H90, and I'll probably end up mounting that to the front, so I don't know how I'm going to quite set that up yet, because um, there's not much wiggle room here. Um, but yeah, yeah, just I, I don't know if I've just got a faulty unit or if that's the way they are. I didn't really research the H55 too much before I did this. I just really wanted to mount it down here. Um, so anyway, I'll look into that. So a few things for me to look into, but anyway, definitely well worth it. Um, makes a huge fucking difference. Um, so if you're thinking about it, um, definitely give it a crack. Just do some research on the videos where they, people are breaking down these cards and that'll give you a, a rough idea on what to do. It's really pretty basic. The only scary thing is ripping apart a $1,300 video card, which I had never done before until now. So hopefully some people will find this um, helpful. And yeah, if you've got any questions or if you want me to test something, just let me know and I'll, um, I'll look into it. Cheers, guys.